Good morning, good morning everyone. It's morning here on Sunday in Sedona, Arizona. And I felt inspired to share a few things with you. I'm going to tell you a little story in a moment. Uh, but first I want to talk with you about the energies of this week. Uh, it was about a week and a half ago when I really started to feel the electric energy coming in. It was a, a new energy and um, I felt it in my body as electricity it was really intense. And here in Sedona we actually had a thunderstorm that night and every time it thundered or lightning I was like blasted with this energy. It was, and I you know didn't really sleep. Uh, it was really intense. And we've been having um, amplification of the love and light energies coming in and it has been really fabulous. Hi, Tony. <laughs> um, and sometimes what you're feeling is heaviness is actually the love and light energies illuminating the heavy energies um, because they are coming up for us to clear and transmute. Hey, Mike, thanks for joining. So a little heads up about this week. Um, we will be receiving more and more light and love energies coming to the planet and what that does mean is that wherever there's shadow wherever there's heaviness wherever there's darkness that will be illuminated and amplified as well so that we can clear and release and surrender and transmute all of that for ourselves as well as collectively for the planet so if you are feeling any of that I'm really suggesting and asking that you do your best to stay centered within your heart to stay centered within love because us as light workers we are holding the space for the rest of the planet to get through this time of transition with as much ease and grace and love and comfort and fun play joy as possible and so what that means for us is that right now we may be doing a little bit of extra work energetically and um, you can always put a limit on that. You can always say how much you can handle, how much you want to do, how much you don't want to do. Hey, Andrea. So I really suggest that you do your best to stay centered in love and then also really nourish and nurture yourself because this week is going to be intense. Here in the U.S., we have the elections. Hey, Wendy. We have so much going on here. So it's going to be super, super important. Uh, to really stay focused on what you are creating and to stay centered within your heart. So, a little bit about the elections. Um, the energy is showing us the polarity, for sure. Uh, we are seeing what goes on behind the scenes in terms of how things are rigged within the election system. And it's not just affecting us in the U.S. What happens one place in the world affects everyone else, everywhere else, everywhere else in the world. And so it's not a, a U.S.-centric kind of thing. It's, you know, what happens in Africa affects us here. We're, we're all connected. And so it's this grand stage right now that's playing out, that's unfolding for all to see. And it's so, so important that we stay centered within love that we are loving ourselves, that we are loving our neighbor. Hey Jim, hey James, hey Camelia, thanks for joining. It's so important that we are staying centered within our hearts because the energies this week are going to be super, super intense. No doubt about it. <laughs> and what we need to do for ourselves, um, like I always say, stay hydrated, put your bare feet on the ground, eat pure food, breathe 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 through your belly breathe through your hearts and allow yourself to be really really centered really really integrated with the energies of love okay so I'm going to move on to the story time part of this video I wanted to share this this story with you for those of you who resonate who those of you who feel um, like you came to this planet because you were called to be here, uh, and this story might resonate with you. So, eons of time ago, a long, long time ago, there were calls put out to, for, for beings to come to planet Earth to assist Gaia, to assist planet Earth. 
because as you know, things here had gotten a little bit out of hand. Uh, the heaven that earth once was had been tainted, uh, ego power structures had taken over, and it wasn't the, the grand place to live. And so that situation needed to be rectified. So there was a call put out by Sunak Kumara and some others for beings to come to this planet to assist in the restoration of Earth back into her original state as heaven. Many, many beings came to assist. The problem was that when we got here, we went through a type of forgetting. And some of us forgot why we came here and we got kind of wrapped up in this density. And we became, you know, egocentric and, and we became kind of just like the density that was already here. Some of us got here and, and didn't forget, um, but we were persecuted and tortured. And some of us played all of those roles within a span of many incarnations. Actually, all of us did that. <laughs> we played all of those roles of forgetting, remembering, being tortured, persecuted for bringing the light, all of these things. And so we as light workers now, for those of you who are resonating with what I'm sharing, we are now at a place on this planet where we can remember that original call that went out. We can remember who we are. I'm not saying that we're saviors of this planet. I'm saying that we came here with a purpose to assist the beings of this planet and to assist Gaia herself in restoring her to her, her original state as heaven, to restoring this reality to its original state as heaven. And so those of us who came here to do this are now understanding that this is the time. Because things are falling apart, we are now equipped. We've been conditioned. We've been through our training. We are now equipped to implement our visions of heaven on earth. I've heard many clients and, and many people who watch my videos how lonely they feel. Maybe you are in a country where you don't have your soul family around you. Or maybe you're in the US and you're in a place where you feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere without soul family, without people who really understand you. Without people who can talk about these spiritual things and concepts and, and not be ridiculed. If you are feeling like that, I want to share with you that you are not alone. There are many, many people who wish to support you, who wish to connect with you in the sense of your soul family. And that is why I created the Creation Temple, to bring all of you together so that you don't have to feel alone. I know why I'm here on this planet. I know my soul mission at this time and I am implementing it through the Creation Temple to bring all of us together so that we can amplify our powers of creation, so that we can restore Earth to her original state as heaven. So if you resonated with the story I shared about the call going out to assist planet Earth, that's what the Creation Temple is all about. And it's yes, it's to help planet Earth in her ascension, but it's also to assist you in your spiritual journey and your ascension process. So what you get out of it is amazing support, not just from myself, but from the other members of your soul family who are joining the Creation Temple. Now, here's what's happening. On 11.11, we are opening the doors to the Creation Temple and you can access all of the content that th that's there. I will do another video to share more about that. Uh, right now, I just really want to stay centered with you in our hearts and to share this with you. We are opening the doors on 11-11, and then on Monday, November 14th, the day of this amazing supermoon that we'll be having, we will have our first online gathering where we can share together. And again, I'll do another video to share more about what that gathering will be like. So if you're feeling 
called by this, I invite you to check out the link I posted above. Um, it will just give you a little bit of information because the full website isn't opened yet. So this is just kind of the, the interim information page. Now, I know some of you are going to say, Susie, $199 a month is a lot of money. And yes, for, I do understand for some people it is. And that's why I've set up the scholarship. So if you are feeling called to be a part of this, but there is no way that that is ever going to be in your budget, then you can fill out the scholarship application and you can um, send that to me. And that is on the, the page with the link that I put above this video. You can fill out that application now. You don't have to wait until 1111. The idea here is to make this accessible to everyone and to have this available and accessible to all of our soul family so that we can all come together regardless of your financial situation. So that invitation is there. And if you have any questions about what I've shared with the call going out for people to come to planet Earth to assist, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other questions about the Creation Temple, put those in the comments below. And know that this week I am holding you in my heart and I'm doing everything on my part to smooth out these energies, to allow them to be easy and graceful for, for myself, for the collective. You're in my heart this week. Do your best with the energies that are coming. If you didn't see the first part of this video, go back and watch that um, because I talk about what's happening this week. Much love to you all. You're in my heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Stay well.